here is a simple picture which shows and enables one to understand the concept of KVAR again. So there's a long bicycle, all are connected together, and we have two groups. One group are the riders, or electrically we can call them as generators on board our ships, and the other group is supposed to be the loads, or just a group of people for sightseeing, let's say for example. So all the loads and the generators are connected together by the bus bar which is the chain and the pedaling arrangement so and also the structure of the cycle so that's the bus bar with that in mind we should always remember that we should have sufficient generators to carry the load we can't have just two people riding carrying let's say 10 or 20 people behind that's not possible so sufficient generators to carry sufficient load. With that in mind, we will go and understand the concept of KVAR, its effects on the bus bar. So just concentrate on the picture which is shown on the left. So here is the axis or the central line of the bicycle. The load, one of the load, one of the loads just leans out to see what's happening around. We can't just ask the load, come on, sit straight. No, that's not possible. Within the practical operating limits and the failures, the load can lean out either to the right side or left side. And this is called as the reactive component. All right. So to compensate that, the generators have to adjust. So with that, since this the load is leaning towards this way the generators will start to lean this way what does that mean electrically with the power triangle as we all know that's the kva section this is the k v a r and this is the k w so as the kvar load increases the kilowatt load reduces just to maintain the same KVA. To be more specific, with the generator of limited capacity, let's say 500 kilowatt, sorry, KVA, we usually call on board ship with the kilowatt, but we have to refer at KVA. With 500 KVA, when the kilowatt or the KVAR increases, the kilowatt has to drop down to have safe limits safe operating limits so when a load leans out the generator has to lean opposite just to maintain the balance so this is the reactive component now what are it how does it affect the bus bar since these two people leaning out without being in straight center line as they lean out the air resistance and friction increases the first component is friction which increases the resistance and the second one is when you look at let's say I'll draw this when you look at this area the generators can't pedal up properly so the capability to pedal reduces or the effectiveness of pedaling reduces or electrically the generators can't deliver sufficient useful power or the kilowatt power as the KVAR increases. So these are the two effects because of the reactive component. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and uh, there are two or three more videos which explains the concept of KVAR which is shown here on the link. Please click, click that link and uh, watch those videos and one small request from you all is there's a small like button at the corner of the YouTube screen on the left so do press the thumbs up button which I like because it gives me a feedback which videos you like and which you don't so that I can improve on my video presentation thank you and do comment voice your doubts thank you for watching